Hello everyone. Today, I'm going to show you how to filter data using choice chips. So, without further ado, let's start. Okay, so firstly, I want to show how I have created my fields. There is nothing special, except I have added category, which is list of strings. The reason why it's list of strings is that if you have a running shoe in your products, we want the shoe to show if user is filtering shoes or running shoes. But other than that, the fields are set up like this. And also, this is what my documents look like in the Firebase. I am going to add one more document for reference. And first field is going to be name. Let's call this great hoodie. Second field will be image. Let's copy this image path and paste it in here. Third field is category. Set this as array of strings. And in here, you can add your keywords. Let's do hoodie and cool hoodie. OK, perfect. Now we can head back to our home page and start building. Let's add choice chips into our column. Let's add our choice chip options. So first option is hoodie. Our second option is cool hoodie. For our third option, let's add t-shirt. Then we can add a shoe. Let's also center these chips so it looks better. Then we need to add list view. And now I am going to create template page where I can cut out product container. Let's go with this one. Let's take a copy of this. Go back and paste it in here. Then we can delete this page. Now let's remove this action. Then we can create backend query to the list view. Collection will be products. And then we are going to add filter to this. Now select category. Array contains widget state and choice chips. Then click on create. Now let's bind value to this container. For text, choose products document and name. And for the image, choose image path. Okay, perfect. Now there is one more thing that we need to add to our choice chips. That is all filter. Our initial value will be all. And also turn on the require a selection. I forgot to set up all string to my documents. Let's go back to Firebase and add it to all of the categories. Okay, perfect. Then let's head back to our app. Now we can try our app. If this works well, we are going to change the order of the query using choice chips. Let's update everything in here and start the test. Okay, so in here is all of my documents. Now when I click this choice chip, it changes the query. Perfect. Okay, let's head back to our app and create the order by choice chips. Actually, I just realized that I don't have price set up. Let's set up prices for these items. Then take a duplicate of these chips. Delete everything except two of them. This first one we can name as cheapest first. This second one will be expensive first. Also, let's set up initial value. And make sure you have require a selection set to true. Then take duplicate of this list view, then edit the query of this first list view Click on order, price, 
and set it as decreasing, then confirm. And now for the second list view. Do the same thing, but in this case, the order is increasing. And confirm. Then add conditional visibility to the first list view. This will be single condition. Choose the second choice chips. Is equal to expensive first. And confirm. Then take a copy of this and paste it to the list view below. And switch this to cheapest first. Now once more we have to update everything in here, then we can try out our app. Now we have our items in here, and we can change the order by choosing different choice chips in here. Thank you all for watching. Your support have been truly amazing. I hope that I see you in my next video and have a wonderful day.